Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stepping by and watching Lost. Yes, season six, episode 16. Can you believe it? We are literally, well, with this one, three shows away from the end. Yeah, and the final the final episode is just one long episode, so yeah. Yes, and I'm looking forward to that because we're going to dedicate a night to that in itself and the filming process, or you know, the reaction process. Yeah. Uh, to really go through this. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I am i don't know what to expect out of this episode, just like every episode of Lost. So. What they died for. Yeah. Uh, let's, I say we hop into this because that in itself is intriguing. The, just, yeah, the name of the episode. Yeah. 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 So quick reminder um, to put please put a like on this video if you like the video and also subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified of all of our videos. Also go over and check out our Patreon where we have tons of content, full reactions, uh, live reactions, watch parties, all kinds of stuff. So go check that out if you're interested. And with all of that being said, let's... Get it on, like Donkey Kong, Steve and Lacey, lost. Let's do it. Really, Lacey? Yeah, you always cut off my let's. I mean to do that. I may shed a tear when this is all over. I don't know, it takes a lot to get you to cry, so... That same just, spot is always bleeding. You know, technically, opening a box is real. It's every time he shaves, he It's not making breakfast. Check in with the concert tonight, right? I'm sleeping. Morning. Can you want some cereal? Um, sure. Thanks. Super brand? That's really the cereal you, you guys are eating I'm right now? Good. Fiber. Fiber. <laughs> Need that fiber. Jack Shepard. Oh, Shepard. Your location is in cargo. My father's coffee. You found it. That's great news. We are oceanic. We're very sorry it's taken so long. But it's a... Wait. What? Desmond doesn't work for oceanic. What? Or does he? <laughs> or does he? She doesn't look good at all. The world went straight through, but if I don't do this, it's going to get infected. I might throw up on you. You're doing fine. I have a little girl, you know. Her name is Gina. She hasn't even met her yet. Doc did this to them. They had to kill him, Jack. I know. He knows. I can imagine. We should get going now. Poor Saeed died. He said that Desmond was in a well. Thank you for remembering that, by the Lock way. Lock wants Desmond dead, and we're going to need him. But he's in a car, working for Oceanic. Welcome back, Mr. Lock. It's good to see you. Is he going to hit him again? He's going to hit him again. Oh, my <laughs> is God. He, is he really? Hey, don't you dare. Somebody call the police right now. Call what you did. I'm making a citizen kill him. <laughs> this is who I am. Why the... Oh, he's remembering. What? When Desmond was punching Ben in the face, he is was it? getting flashed. Sure, this yeah. is a short yeah. time. I lived in these houses a long time, Miles. Well, I lived in these houses 30 years before you did, otherwise known as last week. I have no idea where the hell we are. I guess it's a good thing you're following me. You mind if I ask how much explosive you have access to, Ben? More than enough to destroy the plane ten times over and keep it from ever leaving this island. You sure it's still there? It's C4, Richard. I put some thought into hiding it. It's in my secret room behind the bookcase. It's in my secret room behind the bookcase. What's wrong? You know, I get wonky around dead stuff. There's something you want to share with us, Miles? I don't think What is it, Valerie? Your daughter. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Richard. What's that? 
The secret room? It's where I was told I could summon the monster. That's before I realized that it was the one summoning me. Richard, it's your idea. Are we looking to cripple the plane or blow it to hell? Blow it to hell. Then we better bad. take it all. I imagine or some, yeah. I'm assuming that's C4, yeah. Well, it looks like there's a little bit more in there. Yeah, you probably should have grabbed all of it, Don't I move. guess. Shove your hand. I'm down. Okay. Uh, what are you doing in here? Who the hell are you? Excuse me. Charles, Charles Chucky Widmore. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm coming. Put the gun down, Benjamin. Go to the dock. Take out equipment from the outrigger and then sink it. She's not going anywhere. If you don't answer me, I swear... You shoot me, and your last chance of survival will be gone. Go. You won't do anything. Keep talking. Yeah, keep talking. Keep talking. What are you doing here, Richard? We're getting explosives to destroy the plane on the other island. I've got that plane rigged with explosives since I got here. As usual, Benjamin, I'm three steps ahead of you. How did you get back here, Charles? Jacob invited me. It's a lie. You've never even seen Jacob. I most certainly have. He visited me not long after your people destroyed my freighter. He convinced me of the error of my ways and told me everything I need to know for this exact purpose. What purpose? Carl, it's locked. Have you seen him? No, I don't think so. Our boat is still there. I didn't have time to... Run. Get back here as fast as you can. We need to hide. What's the new state of it, Mr. Linus? It's Dr. Linus, actually. <laughs> it's a doctor, actually. Dr. Linus? Interesting. Are you all right? I heard there was a, an incident in the parking lot. Yes, I got into a fight. We we'll on your end. I saw the man that ran you down, Mr. Lau. He was back. I approached him and he just attacked me. And then the strangest thing happened. While he was beating me, I think, I think I saw something. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. You may not want to do that. Well, why wouldn't I want to? The man told me that he wasn't trying to hurt you. He told me that he was trying to get you to let go. And for some reason, I believed him. LAPD. Hello? LAPD. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, uh. Um, I'd like to see a detective, please. This guy's got something to tell you. Yeah? There was a hit and run a few days ago at Washington Tustin High School. And then this morning, one of the teachers there was beaten badly by the, by the same suspect. Yeah? Yeah? I'm the suspect. I knew he was going to say that. Uh, Thanks for saving the taxpayers the trouble. Just hit pause for now. What? I'm loving how they're doing this, but I don't see how this is going to get tied up in a nice little package at the end. Okay. I, that's all I had to say. I mean, it. it's good. It's just, What? How are they going to wrap it up is what you're... Yeah, like... Because there's so much still, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Very, very fun, though. Fun episode. And I love these, you know, sideways fl flashes like this. Um, what's going on? And, I mean, it's... I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't have the words to put on it. I just don't know how they're going to wrap this up. Okay. I feel like there should be another season. Go ahead. I don't know how they're going to do this, but... <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're just all in here. here. We're just all in jail. Terrific. Any idea exactly where this well is? Sorry, it says close to our camp. We're about an hour away. If Flock wanted Desmond dead, why didn't he just kill him? Maybe it's one of his rules. Bomb on the sub. He said he couldn't kill us. I've been wrong before. I killed him, didn't I? No. He killed him. I see why he would feel guilty for that, 100%. I would feel guilty for it, too. But I know But that. it was not his fault. What? You all right? Curly seeing. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Shit, here we go. And. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Give me the ashes. Lord. Give me the ashes you took from Alana's things after she died. What do you want them for? Where you been? Doesn't matter. I'm here now. Did you see a kid run by here with your ashes? My ashes are right there in that fire. 
The bird's eye, you'll never see me again. What? You should get your friends. We're very close to the end here, though. You should get your, your friends? Is that what he said? You should go get your friends. We're very close to the end, Hugo. Let's go. There's no time. Linus has a hidden room. Come on. I'm not interested in hiding. I'd rather have it over with. These are both great plans, but I'm going to go with surviving. If you need us, we'll be running through the jungle. Miles, wait. Give me your walkie-talkies. Why? Because I asked. In case I need you. you got to kill you. You know that. Then I guess this is goodbye. I know this man. All he wants is for me to join him. And if I can get him to leave with me, maybe that'll give the rest of you a chance. Good luck with that. <laughs> Miles is like, fuck this man. I'm out. Oh man, this is getting good. Okay. Okay. Dude, that black guy looks real. <laughs> Dang. Richard's gone. It looks that way. And he's just like, I'm just gonna sit here. This is the man I was looking for. Well, if you found me, can I get you a glass of lemonade? I need you to kill some people for me, Ben. Why would I do that? Because once I leave this island, you can have it all to yourself. All right. Good. Whose outrigger is that down at the dock? I believe it's Charles Redmond. And do you know where I might find him? He's hiding in my closet. Oh, shit. Dang. Yep. Oh, my God, what happened? I found myself confronting someone that had a bit of a temper. Why would someone want to hurt you? You're, like, the, the nicest guy ever. Guess they had me confused with somebody else. Well, you shouldn't be driving. The real you? My mom's waiting for me over there. Let us give you a ride home. Oh, no, I'm not going to be any trouble to you. Dr. Linus. You've got one hand. Hey, Mom, is it okay if we give Dr. Linus a ride home? Of course. After everything you've done for my daughter, a ride is the least we can do. And then, yes. Mm-hmm. Benjamin Linus. Hey, Mom, can oh, she looks Mom different Mom? with normal hair and that. normal you clothes, know. right? We insist, even if we have to kidnap you. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind getting that one? so nice to be able to cook for someone other than Alex. If you don't mind my asking, where is her father? He died when Alex was two. It's probably why she's so attached to you. All the interest you've taken in her, all the help you've given. You're the closest thing to a father she's ever had. Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sure it's the onions. I'll put in less next time. <laughs> Charles and his lady friend are in here. She's armed, but I'm guessing that's not a problem for you. You don't need to see this. I want to see this. Oh, shit. And there they Sorry, are. Charles. So nice to be able to talk without those fences between us. And who might you be? I'm a Zoe. Don't talk to him. Don't say anything. Why would you do that? You told her not to talk to me. That made her pointless. It's clear you're not afraid to die. So there's only one way to motivate you to tell me what I want to know. I'll finally leave this island. And when I do, the first thing I'm going to do is kill your daughter. You'll kill her whether I talk to you or not. No, I won't. I give you my word. You tell me why you came back here, and I won't hurt your daughter. What do you say you tell me why I you came back here? here? Tell me why you came back here, and I won't hurt your daughter. Because of his unique resistance to electromagnetism. He was a measure of last resort. What do you mean, last resort? I'm not saying any more in front of him. Okay, I'll step away. Well, then whisper to me. What the shit was that about? He doesn't get to save his daughter. Oh, shit. Ben, you never <laughs> cease to amaze me. Fortunately, he had already told me what I needed to know, so no harm done. Did you say there were some other people to kill? Hello, Kate. Oh, they can see him. James, he's right there by the fire. He says hello. I heard him. But you can see him? Yeah, I can see him. Oh, man. Okay, Sawyer, it's you. 
So you're the one who wrote our names on the wall? I am. Sun and Jim Kwan and Saeed Jirai, you wrote their names on the wall? Yes. Is that why they're dead? I'm very sorry. You're sorry. Okay. No, I want to know why. I want to know that Sun and Jin and Saeed didn't die for nothing. Come and sit down and I'll tell you what they died for. I'll tell you why I chose them. Please. And why I chose you. And then I'll tell you everything you need to know about protecting this island because by the time that fire burns out, one of you is going to have to start doing it. Do, do, doing what? Protecting the island. So what can I do for you, Mr. Locke? Dr. Shepard, you and I were on the same plane from Sydney. Then a few days later, I get hit by a car. And of all the doctors in Los Angeles, I ended up with you. The man who ran me down shows up at my school. He beat up a teacher in the parking lot. He said that he wasn't there to hurt me. He was there to help me let go. Which is exactly the same thing that you said to me the last time you and I saw each other. I'm sorry, are you saying that I sent this man to run you down? No, 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 no. Maybe this is happening for a reason. Maybe you're supposed to fix me. I think you're mistaking coincidence for fate. You can call it whatever you want, but here I am. Or fate for coincidence. Doesn't matter either way. Either way. <laughs> I think I'm ready to get out of this chair. I brought all of you here because I made a mistake. Because of that, there's a very good chance that every single one of you and everyone you've ever cared about is going to die. What mistake? We call him the monster. I'm responsible for what happened to him. I made him that way. And ever since then, he's been trying to kill me. It was only a matter of time before he figured out how, and when he did, someone would have to replace me. Why do I have to be punished for your mistake? What made you think you could mess with my life? I was doing just fine to drag my ass to this damn rock. No, you weren't. None of you were. True. I didn't pluck any of you out of a happy existence. You were all flawed. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Yeah. I chose you because you were like me. You were all alone. You were all looking for something that you couldn't find out there. I chose you because you needed this place as much as it needed you. Why did you cross my name? Because you became a mother. It was just a line of chalk in a cave. The job is yours if you want it, Kate. What is the job? There's a light at the center of the island. You have to make sure it never goes out. That's how you protect it. The monster friend said there was nothing to protect it from. You have to protect it from him. You must do what I couldn't, what I wasn't able to do. You want us to kill him? Is that even possible? I hope so, because he is certainly going to try to kill you. How are you going to pick? I want you to have the one thing that I was never given, a choice. But none of us chooses it. And this ends very badly. I'll do it. This is why I'm here. This is what I'm supposed to do. Is that a question, Jack? No. Good. Um, okay. I thought that guy had a god complex before. James. Yeah, I know. I'm just glad it's not me. Remember that bamboo field you woke up in when you first got here? Beyond that field, across the ridge, the heart of the island. That's where the light is. Past the bamboo. There's nothing out there. Yes, there is, Jack. And now you'll be able to get there. Take this. How long am I going to have to do this job? As long as you can. No, kind of open-ended answer. It's very open-ended, yes. I mean, Jacob's been doing it for a really long time, so. Now you like me. You, the lady next door is awesome. It's been real nice having y'all, but shipping y'all to county. Best of luck and bye, Candido. I think it's time to leave. You have anything to get out of here? I'm sorry, who are you? He's a crazy person who turned himself in. All right, I'm crazy. Because you want to get out of here, no? So why are you just going to tell the driver to stop? The driver already knows where to stop. You're going to have to give me a trust, because after I say you're free, I'm going to ask each of you to do something. Sure. Uh -huh. So what are you saying? No, absolutely, I promise. Okay, sure. All right, then. Who's you? That's me. Where's your friend with my money? Otherwise, I'm going to have to say I shot all of you trying to escape. Yeah. 
What the Sam hell is going on here? Apparently he's been talking to a lot of people, I guess. I don't know. Charles Woodmore, isn't it? That does not look like Charles Woodmore. Sorry, Lazy. Oh, hey, you didn't tell me I was going to be here. Do I know you, Tuggy? No. We never met. Anyways, here's your money. 125 grand, right? Nice not knowing you. She's not coming with us? Well, she's not ready yet. If she's not ready yet. You know with him? You know with me. What do you mean I'm with you? We are going to a concert. Oh, to see. I know a concert. I think I know, but... Hey, can I ask you something? You can turn yourself into smoke whenever you want. Why do you bother walking? I like to feel my feet on the ground. It reminds me that I was human. Are you thirsty? Not quite. This is the one I threw Desmond Hume into. What's the matter? I sent Saeed to kill Desmond. Obviously, he didn't. Because <laughs> he's gone. Looks like someone helped him out. Oh, Ben, someone helped me out. What did Whitmore say to you? He said Desmond was a failsafe. Jacob's last resort in case I managed to kill all of his beloved candidates. One final way to make sure that I never leave this place. Why are you happy that he's still alive? Because I'm going to find Desmond. He's going to help me do the one thing that I could never do myself. I'm going to destroy the island. Holy cow. You realize that this is just a pack. Yes. With so much. And I've got a toothache, and like crazy. Steve does have a toothache today. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow. But it, the thing of it is, this is so freaking packed. There's been a lot happen in this episode. Um, a lot of answers. Um, Jack became the new Jacob. Uh, Kate, her name was crossed off the wall, but Jacob said that doesn't even matter. Like, you could still do it if you wanted to. And, yeah, there's a lot. They all saw him. He said, uh, the, yeah. the ashes, once the, uh, the fire goes out, you'll never see me again. He washed his hands as if to wash his hands of the everything. The maybe. And drink of the... Yeah, and he spoke something, I think, that was like... Whatever. To transfer, I guess. But it did seem like after he, he drank it, there was a... Um, when Jack looked up, it seemed like there was some kind of a different look about him. Not 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 a different look. He looked back the same, but it just a different maybe like a maybe different of understanding or maybe of, in his expression. You mean that's how I felt. Okay. Um. So you so you think that Jack is fully understanding now? Maybe not fully understanding, not fully. but he's understanding more. I think he's enlightened. Maybe okay. that's the word I'm looking okay. for. Okay. It, like after he took that drink, just. When he looked up, it was more like a, a Darth Vader rise, you know what I mean? Like, just how his face came up and... Well, I want to go back to when you were saying, um, you know what concert there he's that he's talking Charlie. about. Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted you to clarify what you were thinking in that moment, because... I have no idea why they're going to a concert to see him, but I imagine that he's the only person I know that played in concerts, so okay. it makes sense for him. Um, I'm a little confused about the hundred twenty-five dollar, hundred hundred twenty-five. Sorry, my Hun mouth. the hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar um, bribe, I guess. To look the other way. To to um, Ana Lucia, who surprise is there, and and then he said she's not ready yet, or she's not something. She's not ready yet, and I don't but know. Yet. I don't know. Yeah. There's so many questions I have yet, like because she's dead. Yeah, I feel like but maybe decided, some of the maybe some of those questions might get answered in the final episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I have no problem maybe. getting answer, yeah. answers yeah. at the end. I'm a little worried because there's still a lot of flux going on. Yeah. Um, people are ending up in jail cells together, in the back of vans together, and riding together, and um, everything is meshing together as <sighs> Desmond seems to have on and off the island. He seems to have this all worked out. Like he has this plan that he's he's getting in touch with every single person in some way, shape or form and trying to get them all to converge at this concert, I guess, maybe. It's what it seems like. 
that's what it seems like. My question is, is, is Widmore, you know, I'm still a little confused as to what in the hell he's doing. Like, I, I, I think he kind of said in this, but then why wouldn't Locke just kill him if he wasn't? He was getting the information out of Widmore, um, and Ben shot him before he was completely finished. Yeah. But he, yeah, I mean, John Locke is under the impression that he got all the information he needed. So, yeah, Ben shot Widmore. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Why didn't he kill him? Maybe because he, maybe he didn't know that that was all the information, and Ben shot him first before he ha- even could think about it. He he was obviously shocked when Ben did that. He was like, whoa, mm-hmm. you keep surprising me. So, I feel like a lot of this episode is setting up for the 18 and 19 episode that we'll do on Thursday. Um, let me see what I did to get out of this. Uh, Jack is definitely going to be taking care of the island, unless it's destroyed. Jack is the new Jacob as of right now. John Locke is apparently going to use Kill. Desmond to destroy the island. Jacob told all of them why he chose them. Yep. And what they're doing here and what everybody else died for. So. And I kind of have, have always had that feeling that their lives were, you know, not where they needed to be. And right. a lot yeah, of, you have. you have, you know, I've been on to that the whole time. Like there, there's always something with Kate and, and Jack and, yes. and all of them have had things going on in life that they were heading down a wrong path. And some things have been out of, you know, good intentions that, that turned bad with Kate, for instance. Yeah. Um, all of them a little bit. Overall, yeah, I thought it was a really good episode. Like I said, it's very I mean, hard to talk about an episode right after you get done. Typically, I like to move off and, and process do, a little and, bit. Just and a little bit. Your mouth is hurting it, too, very which bad. is understandable. Very bad. And um, I think we bit. we got what we needed out of this episode. I love the episode. I want to. I want to make I that think, very clear. Yeah, I think the main discussion part for everything is going to be with the last episode that we're yeah. going to watch on Thursday. So I'm excited about it, and obviously we'll go on the Zoom and talk about the episode and turn off these lights for a little bit and, uh, you know, sit back and, and talk about it with no spoilers, obviously. And right. the last episode, I'll be raring and ready to go um, with Lacey and yeah. um, really get down to brass tacks with Lost. I'm loving this. Yeah. I love the episode because there was so... Many of, you know, <laughs> so many things going on that I, I still don't understand him, you know, beating the crap out of Ben. Maybe it was for him to get knocked into seeing, you know, remembering and whatnot. But I still don't see why Ben's following a lock. I, I do have some questions about that. Okay. Um, so interesting. It, it, everything's setting up for a spectacular um, ending. To Lost, and I'm very freaking excited about it. Yeah, I'm, me I'm not too. gonna lie. Uh, it's this is gonna hurt uh, after the episode's over because we put a lot of time and effort in this. Yes. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll feel a hell of a lot better, and uh, just excited about it. Yeah, I really am. I really yeah. am. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, share the video, and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time, and the final episodes of Lost. Peace out.